So Wall Street, though, responded positively to the news today. The Dow closing up more than 300 points on the day. The Nasdaq also soaring up, closing up more than 270 points on the day. The S&P also in the green, more than 54 points up. But for families already paying more at the grocery store and at the gas pump, this is still going to hurt. Action News reporter Jillian Mealy now live for us in Chestnut Hill with more on how this will cost the everyday consumer. Jillian. And Shari, look, this does affect each and every one of us, but especially people who are trying to make those big purchases, like, say, a home in Chestnut Hill on this block where I am right now. There are two homes for sale, and this aggressive move by the Fed today was done in an effort to essentially squeeze the market to balance out supply and demand and attempt to normalize costs. The Fed, the only tool that it has to fight inflation is to reduce demand and essentially kill the economy. The Federal Reserve raised its benchmark interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point today. And the question is, what does that mean for all of us? Anything that you buy with credit is going to get more expensive because it's going to get more expensive to borrow. Chris Lafakis from Moody's Analytics says purchases that are financed are sensitive to rate increases like this, including vehicles, appliances, and homes. Take a look at this example. On Friday, the interest rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage was about 5 and a half percent. So to buy a home with a $350,000 loan amount, that payment would cost you about $2,400 a month. On Monday, the rate went up to roughly six and a quarter percent. That same house went up more than $400 a month and nearly $5,000 a year. What's happening and what's terrifying is that people that are pre-approved for homes have a high debt to income ratio. They're already approved by the skin of their teeth, right? And then an adjustment like this, all of a sudden, they can't even get a mortgage because of just nothing, nothing they did wrong. I luckily bought a home while it was 2.9. So you are one of the lucky ones. Exactly. From groceries to gas prices and everything in between, no one is immune to feeling the effects of inflation right now. It's a tax on the economy, and I think that's why the Federal Reserve is trying to take it so seriously. Hope that that increase will make a change, but I better change, not like put us in a worse situation. Chris Lafakis also has a tip for each and every one of us, something that we can do now to make sure we don't get behind with our money supply. I'm going to share that tip coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Chestnut Hill. I'm Jillian Mealy, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Jillian, thank you.